Greetings, Benjamin J. from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, a follow-up on that Lionel 1060 that arrived this afternoon. As you can see, I've touched up the paint where they had painted it white and uh, just gave it a real, real light spray of black paint. In fact, I missed that spot right there. So uh, I'll give it another light coat. And uh, I just uh, masked off the lens, lightly sprayed it, and that took care of that problem. I straightened the axle, and uh, it's actually running quite true. Cleaned up the uh, tender and uh, haven't oiled the wheels yet, but I did add a couple of cars to it. I added a uh, hopper. This is a Marks crane attached to a uh, Lionel flatbed. Another hopper, a gondola. This came with it. This came with it, and I put a new shell on the uh, caboose. So as you see, this actually looks quite respectable. So I just added four cars to it, turned the power on. This is running just absolutely perfectly. I have not replaced the light bulb yet. That is about the only thing left to do. But as you can see, that looks quite respectable. And it's running just absolutely splendidly. No problem at all. Now this is an entry level set. The 1060 has a headlight and a lens, but it's forward only. You know, so as I always stress, you can do this on a real shoestring budget. You don't have to buy the best stuff to have a good running train. In this case, 14 bucks. I added four cars to it, about an hour of my time. And as you can see, that actually looks quite respectable. I don't think anybody would object to owning this. And yet I was the only one that bid on it and it was on there for seven full days. I was the only bidder. So as I always stress, don't overlook the junk. You can do this on a real shoestring. If you don't have a lot of money to spend or if you don't want to spend a lot of money, uh, you can uh, buy stuff just like this, you know, stuff that nobody else wanted. For some reason, I have no idea why. But uh, 14 bucks and eight bucks to ship it. And you have a complete running consist. In this case, I added four cars to it. And as you can see, this came out to be quite a respectable looking train. It doesn't look bad at all. It runs absolutely perfectly, and it was dirt cheap. Like I stress, I only buy Lionel when I can get it cheap. But for 14 bucks, I couldn't pass it up. Plus, it came with all of the original track. So it looks nice, it runs well and it was inexpensive so anyway i just want to do a quick up uh quick update on this uh 1060 it actually came out quite nice and to straighten that axle the axle's running actually quite true and then uh a quick spritz of black paint like i said i missed that spot right there so i'll just zap it again and that covered the white paint to, they had added to the boiler and the rest of it was soap and water. And the only thing left to do is replace the light bulb and oil the wheels. And I added a couple of cars to it. And as you can see, this actually looks quite respectable. Like I said, I don't think anybody would object to owning this. It runs absolutely splendidly. And it looks nice. That's the nice thing about it. I'll let it come around again. You can check out that rear axle. Like I said, it's actually running quite true. And I just used the parallel jaw pliers to uh, straighten that uh, bent axle. And it was really bent. And as you see, that's actually spinning pretty true. So a nice Lionel original train set. 14 bucks. Really difficult to beat that. So... By this time tomorrow, I'll have a new light bulb in it. I'll have all the uh, wheels oiled, and this is going to be a great addition to the collection, and it was absolutely dirt cheap. So, anyway, just a quick follow-up on the uh, Lionel 1060. You don't have to spend a lot of money to get into running model trains. You really don't. You can look for stuff just like this, and it's far from perfect, but it's up, it's running, it looks nice, and it was really, really inexpensive. 
So it's really difficult to beat that. Anyway, just a quick follow-up. I'll uh, do one more video when I get the light bulb installed. But uh, I'm really pleased with this. It runs perfectly and I haven't done anything to it yet. A few drops of oil and some judicious cleaning. That's it. Now this thing had not been run in decades. And so most of it was just lubrication and physically cleaning it up. Touched up the paint on the front of the boiler where they had painted it white. And uh, this is actually quite respectable. So anyway, just a quick update on this. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email. Ben's Trains at gmail.com and as always thank you for watching